Welcome back, y'all. Heading on into the abandoned dungeon. Let's uh, see what exactly we've caused. Okay, well. Looks like I'm going to need to cure some dragon rot before I can find out anything. Dragon Rod Restoration. I mean, there's three people afflicted. It's it's worth popping one. I have another one in storage, too. So, um... Everybody's healthy again. You're all good. I don't know what I was thinking. That was... Waste of my time. I'm not losing. Fuck off! Not losing materials to these dickheads. Alright, I brought you your dude. Lump of fat wax. These lumps of fatty wax form inside the body in rare circumstances. Can be used for intermediate and higher occultic upgrades for tool. Huh. Oh, yep, there he is. He looks kind of... He looks dead. He looks... He looks dead. Oh, shit. Sorry, bro. That was an accident. Just trying to break into your thing. Um... I think there's got to be more to this area, though. No, it just, it doesn't make sense. To, oh, wait a minute. There we go. Yeah, there is some more. Rotting Prisoner's Note. Supposedly the fragrant stone is enshrined in a village in Ashina Depths, but how to interpret throw oneself? This is as far as the old Okami tone could take me. If they truly reach the Fountainhead Palace, I'd like to know, but it seems I never will. Kotaro, forgive me. Ashina Depths. I haven't even found an area called Ashina Depths yet. This is the entrance, yes. I don't have enough gold to buy anything, really. A bunch of little areas. We missed a lot here. Pacifying agent. Don't mind me. I'm just kind of uh, scooting on through, taking a peek at everything this area has to offer. And I didn't explore it too much the last time I was here, but it, it still it doesn't seem like there really is anything here. It's just those done. Ah, fucking these the undead guys, the killer roaches. Uh, and that's it. I mean, I think it just bothers me because it's it's listed as its own point on the map. And that makes me question, like, alright, well, if it's its own point... Come here, magic carp! I don't think these are the magical carp things. These, these. I'm not seeing any goodies. These are these are more shit carp. And drop me anything good. Hey guys, I'm a little lost. Could you could you tell me where the uh, the rest of this area is? No. Anything? How about you? <laughs> That's fun. Not that effective, but fun. I mean, it's just... Uh, I don't know. I, I hate that it has its whole... It has an area marked completely to itself. Like a whole uh, page, basically. In the, the fast travel book. Oh, <laughs> 
Found if I had continued water, does that go dead ends? And that all leads over to well, shit. I guess let's let's go up towards the temple. I mean, it's it's yeah. You know, doesn't seem like I'm really finding anything else down here unless I. No, that definitely that definitely looks like a you go that way you're gonna die sort of drop. Maybe maybe go down, but I just die going that way. Come on and rest here. Um, tempted to put, I don't know, I'll keep the spear on for now. The spear's neat. That's very nice of you, thank you. Kind of big and slightly spoopy. He's kind of cute in a weird, deformed way. Alright, so I'm guessing I find this pure white fire, the pure white flower, and bring it to him, and that probably triggers a quest. And this. I saw. Where is it at? I just saw a fucking kite. Kites mean. As usually. Uh, are you someone I can talk to? No, you're not. Gold, pal. 35 gold. Ooh, I think I'm going to like this area. Balloon of Spirits before? Oh. Higher chance of obtaining spirit emblems. Um. This is a long shot, but let me try, like. It just seems to go out. Maybe it's like a... I don't know. That's a puzzle that's going to take a little bit of time to figure out. Dude that wants a white flower. 
height with no immediately apparent purpose. This is where I first entered. Yeah, okay. Catch the sugar. Shitty. Sometimes I feel like I, I should be able to should be able to, uh, what's it called, use the, uh, use the rope, and I can't, and it, like, kind of irritates me. Alright, these guys are definitely not too strong for me to take on. If anything, this is good. They'll give me plenty of practice at parrying and kicks and shit. Shit, okay. gold per monk. Damn! You wanna talk about getting your ass beat? that dude mid-air. What you guys guarding over here? Who possession. Coin purse. Alright, so far, not too bad. These guys are, they definitely pack a wallop. Agent. A lot of guys around here. Thinking it's not a good idea to try and fight all of them. This is where the flamethrower would come in handy, and what worries me is when I was playing, when I was when I uh, messed around in this area in the demo, we had the flamethrower already, and I'm wondering if it was in an area back at Harada Estates, and I perhaps overlooked it. That's entirely possible. But I don't want to record a whole episode that's just, hey guys, we're going to wander around Harada Estates and look for shit, you know. A lot of fucking dude. Ash.
I don't think I'm supposed to fight every single one of those guys outside. It's too fucking strong. One on one is one thing, but with that many of them. Roaches, man. Oh, you what though? At uh, at 15 skill points per kill. Call me the fucking exterminator, man. I will take care of all this. Now seems like a good time to try out this. Three monks. A bro. And we got big boy. That wax. Oh, no, that's... Okay, well, big boy's down, so, uh... Yo, come on, why you gotta come in with the unblockable move to start, dude? Fucking try hard monks. Watch you guys guard and Gord Seed! Thank you. Oh god, is this thing alive? Fucking dude, the goddamn You die. And these fucking cockroaches. Jesus Christ, man. Someone get Terminex up in here. Nasty ass temple. Bugs just crawling all over the place. This dude, this dude's literally rotted. Like, this is not okay. This is... Oh, and you get back from the dead. And now you're puking all over. What a fun enemy. We're just gonna leave you. You can, you can just fuck off with all that. ひとつは生牡蠣。ひとつは干し蠣。生牡蠣は地じゃ。かけ越えて穴くり。生牡蠣。え、しからば。お米、困りご、お米を。So I need rice for this lady. I need a white flower for the other dude. Guessing, um, judging from what looks to be skin, we're about to have second encounter with Snake. For sure, I could go under there. Alright, well, these guys just look like your regular old run of the mill jerk off bandits. Buddy. You are not a regular run of the mill jerk off bandit, however. You're definitely something more. So lost in prayer, doesn't even see me coming.
Oh shit. Alright, I I have no words for that. There's two of them. Hmm. I've come pretty far. There hasn't been a rest spot in a while, and that's ultimately what I really need right now. I'm not gonna take on those two guys with the Naginatas. That's just not happening right now. No! This is... I'm really, really getting into some risky business. Those, I hope that wasn't like a one-time drop because I would love to farm some heavy coin purses. There we go. Beautiful. Exactly what I wanted. Go back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap this episode up in a second, but um, I'm curious if that's a rare drop or a common drop or what the the case is with those guys just a way to find out sugar. So they seem to be pretty good for for uh, Luke's. I gotta, I mean even though it wasn't a bag, Gokan sugar is uh, what do we get for that? Sugar. Gokan sugar is posture damage. So alright, yeah, those guys seem to be pretty good for uh, just farming. But uh, looks like we're through the first portion of this area at least. And it doesn't seem too bad. It's uh, just at this point, you know, what it really comes down to is the, uh, the hierarchy of you know, like, oh, you know, this area has to be harder than this because it's later in the list. Just forget about that. Um, I think my main takeaway up to this point is you're really supposed to approach this game in whatever way you want. Like, I'm looking at it as, you know, we have three areas. You have Sempo, you have Harada, and then you have Ashina. And I really feel like you're supposed to alternate between all three of them based on what's easiest at that time. Like, you know, go partially through Ashina, then through some of Sempo, then through Harada, etc. Uh, anyway, going to wrap this one up, but we will continue on with the Shugendo in the next part. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys then.